Welcome back. Here's a look at where markets ended the week after we saw a better than expected November jobs report on Friday. The economy adding 263,000 jobs last month, much more than expected. The unemployment rate holding steady at 3.7 percent. Markets moving big on this uh, news. Joining me right now is Bonson Group managing partner David Bonson. David, great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. We've been watching an economy slow down, but nobody told the jobs market that yet. How would you assess the November numbers? Yeah, I think that's been the story all year of of a conflicting economic message out of the jobs market and other elements of the economy. Um, I just happen to totally disagree with all the commentary that uh, jobs are bad for the economy. I happen to disagree with the commentary that wages are bad for the economy or that they are necessarily inflationary. I don't agree with the Phillips curve and and this trade off between employment and inflation. Inflation, I think, is ridiculous. And so it, it, to me, if the Fed really did believe that people having jobs causes inflation, then, of course, they're going to want to tighten much further. But I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think Powell said on Wednesday they're ready to slow down a bit. They, um, As much as they've talked a very tough talk all year and have tightened more than many people, including myself, thought they would, I don't believe they really want to break something and they are on the verge of breaking breaking something. Well, you know, the Federal Reserve raising rates aggressively, but now suggesting that maybe this next meeting on December 13th and 14th will be a smaller rate hike, 50 basis points. But the market seemed to question that when the numbers came out uh, because of what you mentioned, the wages, wages up 5.1 percent year over year, still below the inflation number, which is 7.7 percent. Uh, So the Fed chairman is watching wages and wages are going up. You just had a 24 percent raise for the rail uh, workers in this contract uh, that uh, the Congress signed, uh, the president signed into law. What are your thoughts in terms of the wage issue and the participation rate issue? 62.1 participation rate. Shouldn't that be higher? Well, it should be. So that second issue is very different because I believe the labor participation rate is one of the primary cultural issues, let alone economic, that we're dealing with. I don't like the idea that there's so many young people waiting to enter the workforce and so many middle aged people leaving the workforce. And so the fact that we're about three and a half million, maybe four million jobs or people looking for jobs less than we would be trend line since COVID, I think is a very... uh, Um, negative statistic. But when it comes to the wage growth issue, I just simply don't believe that right now we are seeing higher wages lead and create more inflation. I think there's downward pressure on inflation, and I don't think the Fed has anything to do with it. I think it's because various elements of the supply chain have naturally and organically improved. Now, the, the inflation rate still shows higher because the housing impact has such a huge lag effect. But no one in their right mind really believes the rents and housing prices are still going higher. They're coming down, and I think they're coming down quickly. And so that data will get kind of trapped into the CPI number in the months ahead. And the Fed, I think, is just a danger of upsetting people now instead of with inflationary issues, upsetting them with recessionary issues. And that's the element that they're going to go into in 2023. Well, I guess the bottom line is that macro story. So given the numbers we saw in November, are you still expecting an economy to weaken and potentially hit recession in 2023? Yes. And so I think all three things are true at once. We will have a weakening economy. It will end up being a recession and markets could very well go higher. And you say, well, how's the third one possible with the other two? Because the markets have been pricing in these realities all year long. They had to purge out a lot of the excesses, the real silly stuff that got killed in the markets, overpriced, low quality things have already gotten their come their reckoning moment. I think next year, Maria, what we're going to see is if the recession proves not to be super deep, it's possible markets look up right through it. But if it is going to be more severe, then you could end up with a kind of new element for markets to deal with. But right now, even with the response that we've seen to the jobs report and so forth, the markets are up thousands of points from where they were just yeah. four or five weeks ago. And bond yields have come way down. David, it's a great That's point right. And it's good to see you this weekend. Thanks so much.